So here's the first part that I had to fix. Goes on the arm. In here. And this hinges on here. It was sheared off right there. So I figured, well, that'd be a quick fix. I have this aluminum rod that I use to uh, kind of braise aluminum with. And since the arm here is aluminum, I'm thinking, oh, the whole thing is aluminum. But when I did it, it just flaked off and it wasn't aluminum. Hit it with a magnet. Oh, it's steel. So I went ahead and I'm not the greatest welder in the world, but tacked that on, grinded that a little bit, trying to clean it up a little bit. And now I got a functional arm again. Move the hinge right back where it's supposed to. When you open the door, it pull it back, bring it off the uh record and when you close the door it drops it on all right well let's keep going okay here's a filco out of the cabinet now you've seen these in a lot of other videos on the uh they put a like a Christmas tree bulb in there. It's just a small bulb. It's white. It does two things. It illuminates this dial for the radio. But also when the cabinet's closed, when you open up the record player, it shines a little light down in here also. When it folds over, the light bulb's like right above it. So it gives you a nice little light down here. It's probably why it shows such a big bulb, but then it burns there. So anyway, pretty rough shape. Um, everything moves though, so that's good. Uh, dial's a little loose. No big deal. The speaker in the cabinet itself is an oval opening. This thing isn't even the right size. They had this thing jerry-rigged in there and it's just nasty. I mean, look at this mess. I don't know. I don't know what they did. <laughs> so that one's that one's gonna have to go. I'll keep it because uh, it looks like I can use it for maybe some other radios somewhere down the line. Just recone it um, as long as the coil's still good. Um, I went and uh, fixed the arm. The arm was busted off. I had to tack weld that back on. Thought it was aluminum at first, but no, it's just mild steel. Uh, the chassis itself is looks pretty nice. Not too bad. I mean, a little gunk in there, but, but not too bad. Um, not quite sure what this is. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at the schematic and check that out. I mean, it's probably probably a resistor in there but I noticed on this thing if you can see it here I'll show you underneath the turntable too the pulleys are wood yeah. look at that guy Isn't too bad. I'll brush it off and see if it cleans up at all, but I may just redo it because it's got some pitting here and chips off here. 
And that will give me the opportunity to pick what color I want. So when all this is all cleaned up, it can look all nice and, and pretty. Okay, so that's the uh, inside of it so far. Underneath is actually pretty clean. Looks like somebody did a little grinding or something on there. But yep. So that's it so far on this. The lower half. Wood's in good shape. Obviously there's nothing on the front. We do have the knobs. I'll have to replace the bottom sheet, but that's not a big deal. The cabinet. So they put this weird makeshift grill cover. <laughs> Gross. So that's that's <laughs> that's sick. Um, so yeah, oval speaker the inside. Not too bad. It'll all clean up. So that's where we're at. One more thing underneath looks like it's all original. Well, maybe maybe a couple electrolytics were replaced, but yeah, somebody's been in here. Put a little bit of something. Let's see. Yeah, because these are the uh, that's what the original ones would look like. These are newer ones here, here and here. I don't know what's up with all this mess that's new that was put in there. Should still be a pretty easy recap. I don't see anything standing out that's obviously blown, but eh, you never know. All right, there you go. Okay, here's the arm after I did the repair here. Right here. So that was welded. Placed his original grommets. Well, here's one. The, the other one's just destroyed. Replaced those in here. Here and here. And that'll keep the vibration and, and everything else to a minimum on that, on that uh, arm. So, this is complete. All good. And I'll attach this and uh, we'll keep on going. Okay, I decided to take a look at the uh, mercury switch. Wired it up to my meter just to see, you know, if it act like a switch or not. And I'm getting nothing. No matter what way I turn it, nothing. Could be the wiring. Uh, I have a feeling it's might be the contact in here. Looks like it's encased in cardboard tube, sealed on both ends. So I'm gonna see if I can open this up carefully. See if I can figure out what the deal is.
Okay, so I carefully cut this top off and cut the edge of the paper slowly, slowly, slowly. And it just kept going further and further down. So I decided to cut a straight line down the middle. And now I broke it loose and we're gonna open it up. Hopefully I can do it with one hand here. Let's see. So I will check the wires now that I have it all the way out and see if we can fix it. Okay, well, I removed it out of its case, and there's one of the wires soldered to the casing, the other on this crimp. I removed that off of here. So then I connect it up to there and this wire here. Moves it around, tapped it, nothing. I think this thing's dead. It looks like it looks like something happened here at one point. I don't know if it got hot or or what. So I think this switch is dead. So I'll have to come up with another another switch or another idea. Okay, today we're gonna work on the turntable itself. Now I already fixed this arm. Um, I'll show some pictures of what I did to that. I had to go back and the piece under here that attaches to the arm was disconnected from the from the other piece from the pivot point down here so uh, apparently a lot of people on uh, some other similar sets not these particular ones but similar sets would solder that joint back on I don't have a hot enough solder to do that soldering iron to do that um, but I did have a mag welder and I did tack weld that on there and uh, fixed all that up right so now it's back on nice and solid now we're going to work on this. I'm going to pull this off and see what it looks like underneath. If it'll come off. There it comes. Clean. It's a bit of a mess. Let's see the wheel. I mean, it's dirty. That doesn't look too bad. I might clean up. I don't see any flat spots yet where it was resting on on this for a long period of time. It just needs a lot of cleanup. Springs are all there. Everything seems to be alright. Looks like they had uh, felt it's kind of a buffer in between these pieces. It looks like there was one here, here, and on this side also. So I, I don't know if I'll replace those or not. Other people that I've seen haven't, but I don't know. We'll see. And you had some pieces here to protect against this shift. This side is missing one, so I'll have to do something about that. The mercury switch was here. I tested it, it didn't work. Um, yeah, I pulled it apart a little bit, took it out of its casing, just to get down to the, the uh, points where the wires were on tried to get it in there maybe I figured maybe the wires are bad connected it directly up it didn't work so it was just bad 
just a bad piece so I was able to find one on eBay and it's in route so hopefully it's good I did run a little AC juice to the motor to make sure it's running and it is um, no noise no nothing so it's just a little bit of cleanup there so interesting wooden little poise there but um so we'll get work on this start cleaning this up um and then we'll get back that's my dog my crazy dog running down the stairs crazy um and then we'll work on the radio itself later i'm waiting on a, a tube for that all the other tubes tested good this one was missing um so I ordered a new one. The speaker itself doesn't look original. It looks like they did some hokey stuff here, so I'll have to fix all that. But we're going to concentrate on this first, get this taken care of, and then uh, we'll move on to the radio after. I don't know if I'm going to put more flocking on this or not. I mean, yeah, maybe. It's kind of rough there. I've been wanting to try it anyway, so can't be that hard. All right. See you next one. Okay, here's a quick look of the turntable um, after I did a cleaning of it. I went ahead and used some steel wool on it, which took off a lot of the stuff. I mean, there's still, still marks there. But they're they're clean. So everything's much better. I even uh, took some Brasso and hit it on this aluminum just to see how it would work. It shined it up pretty good here too. Just to see. Um, the pin here. Let's see if I can get better light on that. That one I shined up also with some Brasso. So that'll that'll go in and out of this platter a lot easier. You know, shined up and clean like that. So, so there's the top. Uh, these rollers are a wooden dowel. Little rubber exterior here. Both of them are still still in good shape. So I'll fix that. The idler wheel, idler wheel looks pretty good. There's no flat spots in it from it resting on it, which is good. Um, everything seems to move all right. Next is clean up the underneath a little bit. Not It's not bad at all. I mean, it's just a quick cleanup. Um, then I'll pull off the motor, clean that up a little bit. Oil that up. I already checked it. it runs good. Test these. Uh, there should be some caps inside here. So I'll check that. Um, I might even try to shine this up too. But I feel like I'm <laughs> in the mood to do that. And then. Um, once that's done, I'll, I'll oil everything up. I have some rubber restore coming. I'll hit this with that. I may not even need it. Um, a little three in one on everything, grease everything up, get everything moving. I'm gonna do something different here because I only have one sleeve, so I'll have to make one up for the other side. I want them to match. I was considering painting this, but I don't know. I might just leave it. Just policies up and be done with it. it still looks good so that shouldn't take too long and then uh get to work on the chassis which isn't too bad the speaker like I said is not original at least not to this one uh, all right okay just a quick look at the motor like I said before there's doesn't seem to be any flat spots on here There's a little bit of rust 
That should clean up. Pretty mucked up. But overall, it didn't look like that bad of a shape. So, oh, finish cleaning it up. Take it apart, clean it up, move it up, put it back together. Okay, the uh, main part of the motor is all cleaned up. Uh, I used combination of uh, contact cleaner and rubbing alcohol, Q-tips, paper towels, you know, the normal stuff. This though, seems like it's seen better days. It was rubbing on something, but I think it still will clean up okay. We'll tackle that next. As I was cleaning this, it seems to be like a uh, I want to say cardboard spacer here. And it started to unravel a little here. So I was being careful, trying to clean everything up real delicately. And then I'll go back in there. With, I don't know, maybe a little dab of contact cement or something try to get that to lay down flat and stick again before I insert it back in I think it'd be fine I didn't damage anything that just kind of peeled up a little bit keep going okay that's fixed glued that down nice and even should be fine it's just a spacer so it should be fine Okay, yeah, there's the completed motor. All back together. Cleaned up, lubed. Everything moves well. That's all cleaned up. That's ready to uh, put this back. Okay, so I went ahead and removed all the flocking from this thing. It it uh, started to flake, and then I found some rust spots underneath there too so I started uh, taking a little scraper scraped off as much as I can and then uh, took some 400 grit and sanded right over took a little rubbing alcohol I'll hit it again before I uh, get some flocking on there but I'm going to order some up here and give that a shot and make that look new too and that's underneath so far all right all right the chassis is pretty much done I have the uh, mercury switch still on order still coming so once that comes in I'll pop that in I won't do the wiring until I get the new cartridge this motor All shined up. You shine these things up and they start to move a lot more freely. Really nice. The other side. So I went in, polished up the arms, the stop for the record, put in some heat shrink. Replace the old heat shrinks that were not really heat shrinks, but the old shields that were there, and I put new felts in. The original felts were gone here and here. This one was still intact, but it fell off when I started cleaning it. It's all cleaned up, nice and shiny and clean. So as soon as uh, the cartridge comes in, I'll replace that. The mercury switch, but I can't check that cartridge until I get the radio done anyway. So we'll go on to the radio after this.